Selamat datang kembali. Welcome back to Bali Unveiled. This is part 4 of Learning Indonesian. If you haven't watched part 1, 2, 3, they are linked in the description. We will today translate some words like this, that, there, here, and also the question words which are who, where, what, why, how, those words. And also we will translate possessive pronouns such as my, your, his, their, those pronouns. So let's dive into the video. The first words are here, there, and far from here. And they are translated in sini, sini, situ, situ, and sana, sana. I think that these come from the Portuguese because in Spanish and Portuguese there are three words that distinguish the distance. I think it comes from that, but I'm not sure. If you know, comment below. And if I will look for it and I'll put it in the description anyways. And so we will most often find them with D, which is the prefix that anchors them for a place. It's a translation of at, so you will find you will find disini, disitu, disana. For example, aku makan disini. Aku makan disini. These words stem from this and that. Ini, ini, itu, itu. There's no ana. But there's only ini and itu. So ini is really this, ini. And itu is a bit further. So you're pointing at something and you say itu. You will use them as a suffix. So for example, this apple is apple ini. And that apple is apple itu. Often you will find alongside these words the verb ada, which can be translated to to be. So, for example, there is an apple. Ada satu apple. Ada satu apple. And, for example, there is or there are things there. Ada gituan di sana. Ada sesuatu di sana. We discussed questions last time. So it is normal to ask yourself how to say some interrogative compliments like how, what, why, who, and I will give them to you now. Apa, 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 apa yang kamu mau, apa yang kamu mau, kapan, kapan, kapan maunya. Kapan maunya? Bagaimana? 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 Bagaimana kamu mau bikin? Siapa? Siapa? Siapa itu? Siapa itu? Di mana? Di mana? Di mana kamu? Di mana kamu? So those are the basic question compliments. You can almost do any questions with them. Now to possessive pronouns. It's super easy like everything in Indonesian because you're using the pronouns we learned in part one and you're putting them at the end of the words as suffixes. So for example, we use aku or saya for I and for my apple, we say apple saya, apple saya, or apple ku, apple ku. So the slight variation for the informal way to say I, which is aku, you only use the ku at the end of the word to say my. Mm -mm. The same can be found for you. So there's anda and kamu. For your apple, you say apple anda, apple anda. 
but you say apple mu apple mu you just use the mu and that is the only distinction between pronouns and possessive pronouns because for the others you just put them at the end of the words and it's done it's done apple kami apple mereka apple kalian it's you're just using the pronouns as possessive pronouns super easy so let's end it there for this episode terima kasih banyak thank you for listening i hope that this helps you and i'll see you in the next one